Ariane used to be one of my favorite future space leaders. Now she's just a space leader. Uh, so she's graduated from the program. So uh, thank you so much for the kind introduction. I'm thrilled to be here today. Uh, I'm sponsored by Clay so, uh, and Arion Space, so I should probably talk to them about membership. Um, but unfortunately, Clay couldn't be here, so I'm standing in for Clay. Uh, but I'm so thrilled to be here today. And Pat, thank you so much for, for having us. Um, it, it's, you know, I know the topic is about making a difference, but uh, we're making a difference through friendship. And the friendships that we, we, we came here with, the friendships that we're developing, uh, and the friendships that we're, we're moving on with. And, uh, and that's what, one of the things I want to talk today about um, regarding what Future Space Leaders, uh, the Future Space Leaders Foundation is doing, and the genesis of it, and where it came from. Uh, and as I'd like to say, it, it came down to friendship. When I first got in the industry, my first job uh, in the space industry was at the Space Transportation Association. And uh, at that time, a, a little more seasoned uh, space veteran, but not much more, a few years older than me, uh, had me come over to his office. And uh, as he was on the phone talking, uh, you know, I noticed a, a picture of the Albany skyline, the distinctive Albany skyline, uh, both, all four buildings. And, uh, and as he got off the phone, I, I, I said, what's, what's with the picture of Albany? And he said, well, I'm from Albany. And that's what everyone in upstate says, unless you're from Rochester or Syracuse, but you say you're from Albany. And, uh, and then we triangulate a little bit. I, I said, well, I'm, I'm actually from Schenectady. Well, I'm from Schenectady. Well, where'd you go to high school? Turns out, as fate would have it, we went to the same high school, uh, separated by a few years. I won't say in which direction for who. Um, but Clay was, uh, from that point on, an instant friend and a mentor. And so that friendship has grown, grown and grown over the years. And we, we went around to these conferences, and there, there's so many of the conferences, and, and they're, they're great for commerce. But we looked around, and we started noticing that most of the people around there looked a lot like us. And, and I, I hearken back a little bit to the, uh, the panel uh, this morning about the diversity and working a team and finding the right team. And, uh, you know, teams are great, you know, when you, when you bring them together, but, you know, when there's no diversity in the teams, you, you start taking note. Um, unfortunately, or fortunately for the folks uh, earlier today, they had fantastic metrics, and you could really measure out, you know, how many women are working in the, the, the industry, and and how many uh, uh, you know, minorities and whatnot. And we, we just looked around the room and, and it was a pretty easy tell of who it was. So Clay and, you know, Clay and I and, and others had this idea, um, why don't we start this organization to help the younger, get more younger people, more diversity in, in the industry, but especially to the young people, because there really wasn't a lot. And it was, it was really drifting as we were all getting older. We used to be young, but then everyone gets older. I found that out really quickly. Um, so we started the Future Space Leaders Foundation, and uh, Clay really took charge of it, and it really started off at, let's just get our friends together, our friends that are at different companies and, and how they can help, and, and how can we help the, uh, this next generation of leaders. So, you know, everyone talks STEAM and STEM and STEAM, and there'll probably be another vowel thrown in there um, eventually, but not a lot is done. It's just a lot of white noise, um, and we thought we could make a little bit of a difference. So we wanted to kind of get that, the, the torch passed to the next generation from you know, the baby boomers to this new generation and get them involved. And so we, within Future Space Leaders, we started simple. Let's just do a conference. Um, and if we do a conference, because Clay and I in our previous years as, at SIA and STA, we did a really low budget conference that raised a little bit of money and we, we did something good with it. So we did, took that same model to do it. Let's do it on you know, low budget, try to raise some money, and do some with the money. Well, what are we going to do with it? So a few uh, suggestions came out on, on how we could engage the youth and get them more involved. And, and one was sending them to conferences. And the one conference that really jumped out was the, uh, the IAC, the International Astronomical Congress. That's going on right now, actually, in Jerusalem. Um, so we thought if we could just raise enough money and send one person to this conference, that would be a win. So we did, this, uh, we did this conference, and it's, it really started the ball rolling. And we, you know, we form, formulated this nonprofit. Uh, here's our, our mission statement, just to really to advance the, the learning of young professionals and get them more involved. So the event, we've done this. This has gone on now five years. Um, we do it on Capitol Hill every year. We do it on the Senate building because it's cheap. It's free, actually. We get sponsors, and all the money that we get from the sponsors, other than paying for the stale croissants and donuts and, and the bad coffee, 
Uh, we have a nice lunch. I would say the, not, the lunch is nicely done. Um, but all that money that's raised by the sponsors goes right back to, um, to the scholarships that we produce. Um, like, like many of you here are involved in nonprofits, I'm trying to mature out of the nonprofit business and somehow get into a profit you know, serving board, but we're not there yet. Um, so so the, 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 the future space leaders, it's open to this whole new generation, trying to integrate them and meet with members of Congress, key members of the uh, administration, uh, the key decision makers in Washington. The, the fee for all these students is free. We want as many students, and it's not limited to students, we, we uh, try to get under 35, although some people still bring fake IDs uh, to try to get in the door. But, um, but you know, basically, your, your students to 35 that want to get involved, want to uh, learn something, want to get mentors. And that's one of the things that we're, we're critical on. And as you, you'll see our board, um, everyone has decided to take on a mentoring role to some of these young professionals. So in planning this conference, we always do this around the summer, Congress is in session, get a free room, get great panels together. We get really great panels together um, of you know, cutting it. And one was wicked cool space technology and, and big data and you know, things that people are talking about now that you know, it's maybe one or two steps ahead of what other folks are doing. So, and we have a lot of fun doing it. That's the important thing. So I just want to talk about, you know, here are some of our partner organizations that we've been working with uh, from the get-go. Um, and it's really helpful. It's really helpful because not, these partner organizations, not only they contribute you know, in, in, the, in the sense for the scholarships, but they also contribute uh, the intellectual capital that we need. And again, and the participation. These things don't, as, as Pat knows for sure, these things don't run by themselves. It takes a lot of work. And, and these are some of the organizations that help do it. And it was also, as you see the cross-section of, of the companies up here, it was really a melding. You know, you had the new space folks that, uh, that really wanted to own this, that said, you know, we're really reaching out to the new generation. But, you know, we also found that the more legacy companies, you know, they wanted to get their mojo too and say, hey, you know, we're part of this. And uh, evidenced by today, uh, the gentleman from Northrop Grumman, you know, the 800 interns that they have, you know, nationwide. Very, very impressive. So it's a collaboration of, of both small and large, old and new, um, but it's really a fantastic product. So here are the results. In five short years, we've raised over $100,000. Uh, this week alone, six grant w winners, all expenses paid to uh, IAC in Jerusalem. The program has expanded since what, the first goal of just sending one or two there. Now we send them you know, to the uh, SGAC Space Congress, which is held at the, the Space Symposium, the Goddard Symposium, uh, ISPCS, we have folks uh, attending here. The AIAA Spotlight Dinner, uh, which is award center, which is great. The Goddard Dinner, which is, as many of you guys know, the Space Prom. I'll tell you a little bit about that. That how many times do companies have tables and it don't have them filled? You spend $10,000 on a table and you have two open seats and you're like, God. So uh, what we do, we pull that together and get um, young people at those tables to interact with, with some of these captains of industry. Um, the Space Fusion Forum, Seeds Com SEDS Conference, uh, and other conferences, that, and it's growing and growing as the pool grows. So this is just, you know, as the time is waning, this is just a quick look at some of the, uh, the winners that we had uh, last year, some of the ones that are in Israel now. One of the ones, you know, is, has gone on, oh, lost it, but um, is, is the head of, uh, is one of the founders of Made in Space, which makes a 3D printer. And Jason was a, a young guy who I knew eight, 10 years ago when he was a student you know, down in Florida working on these issues. So it's really about reaching out to the next generation and helping. And as Clay always says, you know, when, when we do the, the pitch you know, to sponsor, it's, we say, it's for the kids. It's for the next generation. It's for the future. It's for, was it for the future, as we as say? So this is a little bit of a commercial, but hopefully in a commercial I don't have to sell you, and I hope it sells itself. Um, I hope you get involved. It, as I said, it's a great organization, it's a fun organization, it's low maintenance, and it has the high, highest uh, of rewards at the end. So please consider us, futurespaceleadersfoundation.org, uh, and you'll see our board, it's a cross-section of folks, and I hope you get involved. And thank you so much for your time, and I look forward to talking with so many of you here later today. Bye.